Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to draw an octagon inscribed in a circle. Here you can see an octagon and a circle outside it. You may observe that all the vertices of the octagon are on the circumference of the circle. So that is what octagon inscribed in a circle means. Let's get started with the construction. So first, we will mark a point as the center of the circle. And next, we will measure a radius of 5 cm in the compass. With the marked point as the center, let's draw a circle. So here we have a circle. Now, we will draw a horizontal diameter for this circle. Remember, that the diameter passes through the center. Let's draw the perpendicular bisector of this horizontal diameter. You may watch an existing video based on perpendicular bisector construction which is there on the channel. So as you can see we took more than half of the distance between the diameter and we have drawn two arcs from one of the endpoints and two more arcs from the second endpoint. Now we will connect these two points that are the intersection of the arcs to get the perpendicular bisector. Now we will connect these two points and we need to draw the perpendicular bisector of this line. So let's take more than half of this distance. This much is enough. Draw an arc above and below the line from this point. Similarly, draw an arc above and below the line from the second point. So we'll connect these two points which are the intersection of the arcs to get the perpendicular bisector. So we'll repeat this process but with these two points. So let's connect these two points and we will draw a perpendicular bisector for this line segment. Taking more than half of the distance, Draw an arc above and below the line from one of the endpoints in this manner. Similarly, do not change the radius but we will draw an arc above and below the line from the other endpoint. Connect these two points and get your perpendicular bisector. So kids, now you can observe we have a total of 8 points on the circumference of the circle. So you can see, I am highlighting those 8 points on the boundary. Let's connect each of them in pairs to get our octagon. So this is the first side of the octagon. This is the second side. This is the third side. The fourth side. Fifth side. the 6th side, the 7th side and the 8th side. So here we have our octagon which is inscribed in the circle. That's it for today. If you like the video, please share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates from Math Simplified by Harsha Jeshnani. Thank you and stay tuned.